Okay, we're about to do the uh, front brake pads on a 2004 Audi A4 B6 body style. Um, so this consists of uh, removing the calipers, uh, removing that retaining clip there, and removing the pads, putting new ones back on, making sure that the wear sensor is uh, disconnected and new one plugged in. First we'll try and remove that clip, which just, you pry that out and it just pops out, possibly like a projectile towards the camera. And I back off cautiously, but no, no drama here. That's the retaining clip. And now there are two plastic caps back there. Let's see if I can dust that guy. Which cover a 7mm um, hex socket. You need a 7mm hex bit to open those things. Now the second one. There it is. It doesn't really need to come out, does it? And here's the lower one. So this is the 7mm hex bit that you need in order to get the, um, the caliper bolts out of the front. Okay, that's the brake wear pad sensor connector and that thing has to be disconnected by pulling up on that tab over there, sort of uh, pushing down on it? No. Pulling up like that. Uh, and then yanking it out. So this guy has to be pushed up like that. And for part of the for part of the connector that actually goes to the brake pad, there is a little tab there which you disengage, rotate counterclockwise, and then pull up, and it comes free. Okay, we're now going to take the calipers off, which sometimes might need a little coaxing, but this time looks like it's just gonna come free. And you should just uh, take care not to put too much weight on the uh, brake line there. So. Yeah. And the other side, uh, there's a little spring clip holding it to the piston. So the, the, the pads, old pads are out. We just uh, severed the connector uh, instead of uh, attempting to somehow thread it back through the, uh, uh, through under the brake line there. Um, what that means is of course the new uh, wear connector wire will not follow exactly the same path as the old one did, but I, yeah, it doesn't seem to be a big deal. Now we're going to compress the pistons using our trusty uh, <coughs> spring compressor borrowed from O'Reilly. And 
using a thick uh, compressor we have. So we're ready to put in the pads. Went in? Yeah. Hmm. So it did get routed the same way as the old one did. For some reason, pulling it out is hard. There are new pads. They have to go on in to make sure that the brake pad wear sensor wire doesn't get in the way. And so you put that uh, in the, the wear sensor connector back in, sideways. Push it in sideways, turn it clockwise until the tab engages. And then connect the, there it is. Caliper boards are in. Now we try to push this retaining clip back in, put them into the holes, and then press them into place or not. There we go. So just some finger strength there, and it pushes in. There you have it.